Alright, Project Snorvet is underway and step number one is to tear down the C3 and get the old engine and transmission out of here. Before we can do that though, there's a bunch of stuff that we gotta get out of the way, so it looks like we got a long day ahead of us and we better get started. From the bottom side, I got everything out of the way in order to get the transmission out and the motor out. Uh, but unfortunately, while I'd like to drop the transmission right now, I'm not going to even attempt it because I would have to support the engine somehow. And with the car this high in the air, I just don't have the equipment to do that. So what I'm going to be doing is dropping the car down to the ground, putting the jack underneath the oil pan here, and then I can unbolt the transmission. And I think I'll try to pull it with the bell housing on. We'll see if I can scoot it out of there between the firewall.
engine is out. All right, so for next steps, I need to get this thing on an engine stand. And to do so, I need to take off the bell housing, the flywheel, the clutch, pressure plate, everything behind there. And to do so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully set this down on this pallet, but keep a little support on it with the cherry picker so I can safely work on it. On another note, there is nothing small about a Chevy small block. There is a lot of iron there. Next time we're going to open up this old 350 and decide which parts we want to keep and which ones we want to toss for the engine build. And I've also had a chance to look over the ZZ short block a little closer and I found some surprises. If you like this video and you're interested to see where the build is going to go, make sure you like and subscribe and maybe leave a comment too. I like hearing from you. Alright, until next time, thanks for watching.